It's unbelievable! It's the newest episode of Improv Gaming's Games Cast. <laughs> what is going on, guys? We are still in beautiful HD. Look at us. Look at his face. Look at look at look at his question. His question. His question. To my left, he's only the biggest Zelda fan in the world. Don't believe me. He has the tattoo of the Triforce on his arm, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Jeremy Bird. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Tonight, you scared the shit out of me on the intro, by the way. Why? Get to the Yeah, right. Oh, you kind of made me jump a little bit. That's the point. Exciting improv. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We're not okay. screaming. You know, Apparently, anything. he's like improv, like the Joker style improv. Hey, I did get <laughs> my new laptop, and it does have the Joker on the background. To my right. He only has the best ponytail in the business. Don't believe me. Look at my shirt. It's actually fabulous. It is fabulous. Mr. Nicholas. It's fabulous. Push. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going tonight, everybody? And I'm your other host, Pete. And what I'm wondering this week... What are you at, wondering? Why do you always look at him when you wonder? Why never look at me? And I'm wondering... Because he's not curious about you. Oh, he knows, fuck he you. knows everything about what? you, sweet <laughs> You know what I'm wondering? <laughs> How Jerry fucked up the one I'm news, But we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. I'm wondering why some airlines are just plain terrible. Why some airlines are just plain terrible. Let me explain something to you. Because they're the opposite of Kanye and Kid's Kim. K Kim's kid. They're not Northwest, they're Southwest. Boo. No? Boo. No? Oh. There's the door. I tried. Why don't you get up from your Kanye Kanye? I mean, yeah. Just I'm wondering why Kanye is running for president in 2020. Oh, Yo, West vs. Trump. West vs. Trump 2020. That's Jesus! It's gotta be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I just love, he's like, yes, I did smoke before coming out here. Yeah. No, do you know what gets me with airlines? Is especially when we land. Do you realize how many people are impatient and yeah. they get up and they're ready to go? You're not going fucking anywhere. You're not. The door is not open. You wait in line. You weren't in kindergarten to wait in line. And no, it's like, I'm more important than you guys. It drives me nuts. And then just the order. Me and Jeremy went on Southwest. And how it's up is it has, you know, um, section A, 1 through 60. And they go 1 through 5 and then 6 through 10. I'm yeah. like, and then you have the people going... I'm A3, I'm ahead of you. And it's like, who and the fuck cares? Because when you get on the plane, it's like self-seating. But who, I mean, it's like, by one, if, if you're A3 and the other person's A4, it doesn't matter. No. It's, you're still going to get on the plane. Yep. The it's, plane is taking off at the same time regardless of what time you get to your seat. Yes. You're With just or be, without you. And you're just going to be waiting longer if you're first. Yep. Always, always bothers me. And then, oh, all airlines. I was on Delta one year and they lost my luggage. I went to Florida and ended up in Kansas. Don't know how, don't know why, never flowed. Delta again. What, do you have any crazy airplane stories? Not really. No. But I just... I think you just have bad luck with airplanes. I just have bad luck. Because <laughs> I've been taking planes for a very, very long time. I've never had a bad experience. The only point is, I will say... I'd rather do connecting flights. I'd rather do layovers within reason versus a straight flight because I can't sit more than... Say it's a five, six-hour plane ride. I can't sit for more than two and a half, three before I start getting antsy. Well, you do get antsy. I'm terrible, and you can vouch for that. I know. It's we did, we did the trip. If you didn't know, this is the Improv Gaming Games cast here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. Every week, we bring you three topics. We break it up topic by topic, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, for your viewing pleasure. Also, we have Tuesday Let's Plays, and of course, our Twitch is on Thursday at 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's episode... Well, oh, well yeah, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. All that news, or what up news with Jeremy Bird? So, because I don't pay attention, I fucked up, and if you watched the last episode, those are the games coming up for this week, and if you got a problem with that, fuck off and watch our last episode. <laughs> What Jeremy means to say is, go fuck yourself. 
<laughs> Just watch the last episode if yeah. you want to see what's going on this week. <laughs> yeah, and it's a good episode. We give our yeah. reviews and thoughts on Yeah, it things. is a good episode. All right, and we love you, the fans. That's why we're telling you to go watch last week's episode so that then you get some quality entertainment while you go look at Jeremy screw up. And if you watch Thanks. it, watch it again because <laughs> you could just watch the bloopers and look at different things that we do. Over and over again. Over and over. It's like the greatest thing you can see. But this week, we're back to the grind. We're not doing reviews on our thoughts. We are doing, no, three categories. Like I said, Monday's episode, which is today, will be games that a virgin should start with. You're a virgin to video games. Thank you. I was gonna, and that type of virgin, not... Well, yeah, well, yeah, you know. Yeah. They are sex and games. Play Mass Effect. Also, on Wednesday, we have... Why do we play games? Why does me, me, Nick, and Jeremy play these games? What does it? And Friday, of course, if you could have one game forever, what would it be? That's going to be a head scratcher. One and only one game forever. Then there's two games. Shit. Thank you, Nick. What? You know that wasn't clear. Hold on. That I wasn't clear. I have all these games. I'm going to keep them forever. But I have to click only one of them. Like, Hold on. Can click. I, can I just do something? What? Can just raise this down a little bit and then say that again? One and <laughs> only one game, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> He looks like the guy from Molly Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, you terrible. Which one? The short one or the tall one? Well, clearly not the tall one. <laughs> so, your aversion to video games. What is the game you will play? I have a question before we start this. Of course you do. Modern consoles or older consoles? Doesn't matter. Doesn't the whole matter. gamut. If you want, you could do a couple from each generation. Like something from the Super okay, Nintendo. Okay, I was going to say, we're going to do modern 2. and it's black. So you could do a couple of different consoles. If somebody wants to go back in time and play something, or if they want to go right to the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 or Wii U, they can do that as well. So, since you're so keen, Jeremy Bird, start us off. All right. Um, for modern consoles, that's really not easy for me to say because it all depends on what games Dark, Dark Souls 2. Sorry. Okay, my turn. Honestly, if you're going to start semi-modern, I'd say Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum, that's a game. Just because it's a simple, it's not as big as the other two games, and if you're a superhero fan, it works for you. More retro... Not too hard. You know, it's got the nice combat and everything like that. Yeah, that's... I'll that's stay away from that. Nintendo because going with the NES is too hard to decide on those games. Because some games can be brutal and some games can be simple. Super Mario World. Super Mario World? Super Nintendo. Simple enough, it's fun enough. If you're gonna start off Good somewhere, platform. yeah, start with start with that one. But yeah, any others? Um, Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation. You gotta go with one. <laughs> it's a one uh, polygon game in there. <laughs> and if you're gonna fight a game, it's Virtual Fighter. Yes. Virtual Fighter. Yeah. Virtual Fighter. Right. Okay. It's silly. It's simple, and it's just fun. Yeah. Just to yeah. get oh, when you lose. All right. So. Um, since we're going with the whole retro and, and new new age thing, I would go with Mega Man X. Good call. Mega Man X would be something that I would recommend for the more like mid range, right? I would system. Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Okay, I'm super fan. Nah, you're right. It super Nintendo. Actually, it did actually come. <laughs> to it came the, back on the PSP. Which I played, which is a it very was good fucking phenomenal. Oh man! It was and it just came phenomenal. out with the Mega Man collection. Legacy Collection. Like, original games one yeah. through six. But still, oh. What and then the um, the other one, uh, if it was a fighting game, I would say uh, I would say Mortal Kombat. To uh, be honest. The original. Yeah, the original. I would say the original, not the arcade. The 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 uh, the the, the Genesis version. Uh, I wouldn't say the Genesis because it looks like shit. But it's 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 a simple fighter instead of instead of getting convoluted and, and caught up. Besides besides the combos at the end, you can still use it as a fighter. Yeah. It's slower paced than uh, Street Fighter. I would only say go with um, the Super Nintendo version. Put the blood cut in. Huh. The only because like I'm a little more graphics because I did play that game and I thought I still think it looks like shit. So yeah, um, but I respect that. I like where you're coming from. So cruising USA for racers. Oh, I forgot about that. And uh, for beat 'em ups, I would say Streets of Rage. Oh, I love Streets of Rage. 
for new age stuff. I would say a good starter for a virgin, being that I am a fanboy of the series, it would be Metal Gear Solid. Yes. It would have to be Metal Gear Solid. Um, <laughs> and that that's the, those are those are my picks. If you have to start off in gaming, it would be those for for those for those. Uh, nothing, nothing modern. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend anything modern for 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 a first time gamer. Mm-hmm. Too convoluted, too deep, too much, too much details you have to pay attention to. Yeah. Hello. You, you gotta go your pansy or? It's my turn, and I'm gonna go through quite a cornucopia of stuff. <laughs> uh, first, Super Mario Brothers 3 for the uh, original NES. I'll give you that, because it's not bad. It's not bad, nice platformer, fun, not too challenging, goes through a couple levels, and doesn't get hard till the fifth or sixth world. Yeah. And then you you know it's a challenge, but definitely very good way to start. Not not too challenging. Good bosses such as that. Um, Golden Axe for this Sega Genesis. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Or Paperboy. Paperboy. Wow. Nice. Holy shit, dude! Are you serious? <laughs> Paperboy. All right. I forgot about Paperboy. <laughs> yeah. I have the damn game. There's some knowledge right there. Um, moving up for the N sixty four. I would say Banjo Kazooie. Fucking knew it. Like in my mind, I was like, "He's gonna say banjo. He's gonna say banjo. He's gonna say banjo." He's gonna say banjo. <laughs> Just because it has that collecting, a lot of co- a lot of collectibles. Collectathon. Yeah, the music notes, the Jinjos, the honeycombs, the jigsaw pieces. The list goes on. I mean, it's absolutely insane. But that's also a very good thing to. Try out. Um, so basically, Pete's telling you that you should probably check out ukulele. Nice. Also, um, or we could just do the what the rare thirty for thirty. Thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. The rare replay. I'm sorry. The rare replay thirty for thirty. Um, also, what we have is um, if you're wanna not be into crazy games, I recommend something from Tall Tale. Also, Walking Dead. You know, Wolf Among Us, um, Game of Thrones. If you're into that. Tales of the Borderlands, where it's a point-and-click adventure, but it has that action mentality, but it also has that, um, those choices where it's a little bit more of a story aspect, um, you know, rock band and guitar here you can't go wrong with, um, I would say for coming up systems about Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Limbo. I like Limbo. Yeah. Doesn't have a story. It has a nice little gameplay twist. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a lot of indies. Shovel Knight is very good. You know, can't go wrong with Mario Kart or Brawl. I mean, Super Smash Brothers. You know, also very good games. I'd say we you know Brawl because everybody hates that one. Uh, I think when it comes to it, Mario games are good to start off with. You know, but once you start to not lose your cherry, so to speak, you know. <laughs> Then you would be a little bit more risque, and I would recommend something like the Sly Cooper Collection, Ratchet and Clank, um, the Uncharted, to really get that full atmosphere. What you want to do is you want to dip your toe in to see if you like the water. And some of these games, like Super Mario Brothers Three, you know, for racing games, if you want to check them out, I would say Burnout or something like a Gran Turismo or Forza, which is realistic. Nice. Depends on what you want. Realistic, you go with those. You want to just Chaos and craziness, you go to Forza. Also, I mean, Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that has a whole bunch of components in it. Yeah. I mean, it has, in Grand Theft Auto Five. you can play tennis, you can play golf, you can go driving around in a car, you can do missions, you can beat the crap out of people, you can go to a shooting range, you know, you can do all these different things with an engaging story. I mean, if when it comes to stories, you want to go for what's, the best. That's why I would say if you're a beginner gamer, definitely go with the Toto games for stories. If you want to just nice grounded game, Super Mario Brothers 3 would be something, you know, um, Mega Man Collection also. Um, and like as you go in, you know, depending on what you lean towards, you know, some people like me go to more action, the God of Wars, the Uncharted, you know, the Warcraft and the first person shooters, you know, but you don't dive into them. You Dip your toe. I said, and you said it too. Mario's a great example, you know, and Metal Gear Solid Five. 
Wait, not five. Uh, one. Not five. One. It's Metal sorry. Gear Solid. Idiot. Wait, the original. The on original. NES? No, not on the NES. On PlayStation. Well, the NES was the original. On the on PlayStation. No, you Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear was the original. Thank you. Fair, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> When'd you get the twin snakes? Don't ever try to challenge yeah, I, me I on know, Metal know. Gear knowledge ever. <laughs> When'd you get the Twin Snakes version? No, no, I would go with the PlayStation version. I know, I know the Twin Snakes is updated graphics and it looks a lot better, but I, I just wouldn't. I would go with the. I would PlayStation actually agree version. with you because I would I, just go I, with. The I played that game too, and it was just so much fun. It really was. And, I mean, yeah, the ninja looks so much better in Twin Snakes. You know what? Fuck it. Go with the Twin Snakes version. Hey, go. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you want something that ages nicely. Yeah. If you have a little bit better of the HD... Um, I was going to say, if you're going to go really young kids, I, I can't believe really I think of this until now, Pokemon. Yeah, of course. My niece and nephew not stop playing those. It's ridiculous. Nice no, wait, based. wait. Do not go with the Twin Snakes version. I'll tell you why. Him. That scene with the ninja... They completely edited that scene because, so it can be more kid friendly. You're right. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. So no. If you, it all depends on your age group. If you're young, start with the Mario. If you're a little bit older, go with the Limbo, a little bit darker of a story, you know. And then once you find your forte, whether it be into strategy games, racing games, action games, first person shooters, then you can dive into more Call of Duties, Uncharted, and stuff like that. But you know, just know. Where try a little bit everything, but in moderation to what you try. Yep. I mean that's the best way you can do it, and that's the best way you can start with games. I was and gonna say, try like with the like start with whatever you want, and then just find your niche. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> also like he said before, the rare replay is also very good because it gives you a taste of NES. I mean they're all rare Stay games. Stay away from Battle Toads. <laughs> but you have your <laughs> Super <laughs> Nintendo N sixty four. And so on, Xbox if I want. So you have that 30 for 30, not a bad deal at all. 30 games, 30 hours, very cool. Um, but it's all about looking and seeing. It's all about what you feel like you would like. If you want a story, if you want to just dabble in. I mean, I have a friend who just wanted to try Heavy Rain. And I figured that's good because that's a nice story. But it has those action sequences and a murder mystery. And who is the or... or origami killer and you figure it out and there's multiple endings so it's cool to replay and try that that's also a very good game it's on playstation 3 um but yeah i think we've given them a plethora of ideas for what you know a young child even splatoon i think would be a good thing yep it's like when you want to come fun fun fucking game yep young child you go to nintendo a little bit older you look into a little bit more indie scene a little bit more dark Telltale, you know, Heavy Rain, stuff like that. Even Alan Wake, you know. Some cool elements. But um, I think that wraps up our conversation on games you should start with. Yeah, I think we're good with that. I like it. But um, thank you guys for watching. As always, you can follow us on Twitch for all of these crazy live streams and Let's Plays and everything like that at ImprovCot with a K. With a K. IPG Jaybird. Yeah. With a J. (laughs) (laughs) And ImprovCap. With Um, With a K. With the kid, yeah, I <laughs> that. There some people are gonna be hitting C. Um, JKK. Just JKK. Um, next, um, one that I'm very excited for on Wednesday's uh, Wednesday's episode. It's why don't we play games? Why the fuck not? <laughs> you want to know more? Check us next Check time. Check us out on Wednesday. Jeremy's ready to do it. I throw the hand go up. So take <laughs> it away, Jeremy. And as usual, guys. Game, game on. on. First game to play for a virgin gamer. Virgin.